Hi everybody, this is Bud Brown, living in Dumaguete City, Philippines. Thanks for coming by my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. These videos are normally just about my daily living. Sometimes they're boring, and, but most of the time it's kind of an adventure, which today was. Uh, last time uh, I took off, had a little road trip to a community called Dowin, about 25, 30 minutes away. So uh, I saw so many uh, dive shops and resorts there that I thought, hey, you know what? I'd like to try that again. Lori says, can I come? Oh, oh, yeah, of course. So even better with my wife coming along. Good morning, everybody. This is Bud Brown living in, the, in Dumaguete City, Philippines. Get ready to go on another road trip. Went to uh, Dowin the other day. It was kind of fun. I looked on the map, there are so many uh, dive shops and resorts there, so even better, Gloria's coming with me. Let's go. So uh, we drove, and I was going to go to a new one, but, you know, habits and familiariz familiarization, uh, I, I found myself on the road going to where I had gone before, liquid uh, Dumaguete divers, which re we really enjoyed. I went with my friend uh, Gary. So anyway, I said, well, I'll just take Gloria there. and. Uh, I've talked to them about my wife, and now they'll meet her. So we went there, and they were very, very friendly. Had coffee and um, breakfast. Good morning. Love you too. With sugar and no, milk? No, no sugar, no milk. Okay. Mas macho. Ganyan. Okay. Yeah. Take a baby. Okay. Meow, meow, meow. 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 Meow, 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 meow. I don't think it's here, so a lot of people that's what they're afraid. Yeah. So I took the obligatory picture of the breakfast. <laughs> you, know you heard the story about the waiter who asked the fella, how was the breakfast? He said it was good. He said, are you sure there was nothing wrong with it? No, no, it was fine. He said, because I was wondering, you didn't take a picture of it. <laughs> so that's the world we live in today. Got to take a picture of our food before we eat it. But anyway, we, uh, uh, we went there and just kicked back, relaxed, you know, chica chica.
shuck and jive with the employees there. It's fairly early, maybe 8 o'clock or 8.30, so we were really the only ones that were out. I think there were people that were running around in the, uh, they have a fitness center, and they did, did some jogging. We saw them coming back. But anyway, uh, we had a great time there. Gloria met the people. They met her and had the obligatory uh, selfie photo. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Thank you so much. So we're always glad to get our picture taken with other people. And uh, came home. And I just kind of kicked back and grabbed the guitar, played a little song. And... Well, I saw him by the railroad tracks this morning. He looked like he was nearly dead. So I kneeled down beside him. And I uh, hadn't played my fiddle in a while, so I grabbed it and still need practice. But hey, you know what? I'm not fooling anybody, uh, especially myself. I'm not a singer. I'm not a guitar player, but I like to play and I like to sing. And I'm not a fiddle player, but I can play a couple of tunes. They're not perfect naturally, but you know, I've decided that no matter what I do, I'm not going to wait till it gets perfect uh, before I enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy the process. Two, one, two, three. Which reminds me, if you've uh, followed me for a little bit, I had a great idea about doing a website uh, called Discover Dumaguete. And it would be a website listing the businesses and accommodations and uh, resorts, restaurants, hotels, um, places to rent a car, to rent uh, scooters. And I thought, man, that's a great idea. But it's kind of like, I don't know if you know the story about, uh, it's an Aesop's Fables. My mom always told us a lot of Aesop's Fables, which are, have life lessons in it. But it is called Bailing the Cat. There was a house full of mice. Oh, they had the run of the place and they were so happy. One day the owner brought home a cat. Uh oh. So the mice were always in fear of their life because of the cat would chase them and catch some of them. And so they had a meeting one time. And uh, the head mouse said, we got to figure out how we're going to, uh, what we're going to do with this cat. And someone in the crowd said, what we need to do is put a bail on the collar of that cat 
then wherever it's at, we know where it's at. It can never sneak up on us. Yeah, that's a good idea, man. The crowd went wild. What a fantastic idea. Wonderful idea. And then the leader of the mice said, all right, let's do it. Who's going to volunteer to put the bell on the cat? Silence. Everybody kind of looked around. So the moral of that lesson is there can be some good ideas, but implementing the ideas, not so easy. I said all that to say, I did uh, make this website and uh, the domain name is uh, Discover Dumaguete. And for a month, maybe two months now, I've been trying to uh, list these businesses. Ah, oh, that's a lot of work. Put the title, some pictures, their phone number, their Facebook page, their website if they have one, uh, the uh, hours of business. Ah, oh, it takes a long time. There was a couple of weeks where I said, oh, you know what, it's too much. And then I said to myself, hold on here, Hoss. Anything worth doing is gonna take time. And this has taken time. But I'm not gonna wait until it's completely 100% finished because it never, never <laughs> will be 100% finished because businesses come and go. So I said all that to say, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Right now it's got a, what they call a opening soon page. If you were to go to uh, discoverdumaguete.com, you'll see a, a, what they call a landing page there. It says opening soon. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna just open it up. You'll see what I've got. Uh, you can see that there's a, where you wanna go, and I, the main places that I have are Dumaguete City, uh, Bacong, Dawen, Valencia, and Sibulan, which are the neighboring communities here. So I have those, and then I have some listings for uh, restaurants, a lot, uh, resorts, dive resorts, um, what else I got here, hotels, accommodations, and I haven't got uh, scooter rentals yet, up yet or car rentals, but little by little, I'll get her done, but I'm gonna just open it up anyway, because <laughs> I'm not gonna wait like a lot of things. I'm not, I didn't wait till I played the fiddle perfectly before I, you know, put it online. Same with the guitar, same with the singing, and same with my languages, you know. I'm gonna do what I can, what I can, and just not compare myself to other people, but to compare myself with myself. Am I doing better now than I did last week, last month? That's what counts to me. Anyway, enough of that blubbering. Alrighty, thanks for coming by. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.